Hello everyone, Scott here with another Hyper Bowl. Uh, I know it's hyperbole, but Hyper Bowl makes it mine. I just got out of the Great Wall two weeks ago. Yeah, um, AVX 3D Great W Atmos, uh, the Great W. The Great Wall is an interesting, interesting story in and of itself beyond the movie itself. Um, it's very much a concept of a movie that I kind of had a while back. The Great Wall part is an addition into it, but it's just the idea that these guys are going for black powder. They're from England, or Ireland, wherever they are. And they're going for black powder, and they end up just running from nomads and encountering the Great Wall, not knowing what it is. They've heard legend. And when they're in there, monsters attack, and they fight it off, and th th there you go. The Great Wall is about legend to keep the Mongolians out. But what if it was made for more? And this thing has got weird tech in it. It like ancient technology is really cool. Um, it's uh, incredible the the simplicity of that. Yeah, it's to keep monsters out, and they keep attacking, and they keep handling it, and they attack different areas of the wall. So you get different sections of what's going on, what there is. Um, Matt Damon's in it, and people thought it was whitewashing or white savior it was a thing I learned about this. But he's just he's just a guy because he's from over here wanting black powder. He just shows up. It's very much Commander Lin's story, uh, Jian Tang, who uh, is apparently going to be in all the things. She's in Kong, Skull Island. She's going to be in Pacific Rim 2. She was in Special Id, a uh, Donnie Yen movie I picked up just because it looked cool. And he, she's in it. She's getting her Crouching Tiger moment with this. She steals the show. She is the hero um, with Matt Damon and is awesome. And her blue armor is incredible. The, the armor and look in this, uh, Zhang Yimou directed it. The visuals in this movie are insane. I can't I can't describe it enough outside of a bit of an anime come to life in the sense that it's just so ridiculously visual. Um, the blue soldiers, they, they go out on these things on the wall and they dive off with a cord and they spear and they come back up. And it's not a bungee, like they're being lowered and pulled by people. And they, they're doing this. And the ones in red are like the, the wall soldiers and the black are the foot soldiers that go down and, and fight hand to hand. And there's like full-on Starship Troopers moments with the monsters like coming up the wall, like Kalendathu and stuff like that. It's fantastic. I want to do a GPC of it, but it's actually doing quite well, so I don't know if I even have to, but it's apparently being viewed as being very cheesy and cliche. That's because it is. See, Hollywood makes big-budget action movies that don't do so well here that do crazy business in China. Some do good business here, but also do crazy business in China. I'm sure you've heard of Iron Man 3 and Pacific Rim. Hell, Iron Man 3 had scenes specifically for the Chinese audience added for it because they helped fund it. Um, Transformers Age of Extinction had a fourth act in China. And that's what we're encountering here. You know, even the opening credits for Triple uh, X Return of Xander Cage and something else recently. I want to say Monster Trucks. Something else recently that you wouldn't think. <coughs> Excuse me. Assassin's Creed. Chinese companies all through the opening credits. And it's like, who are these guys? And they're funding the movie to make them happen. Same thing here. These guys from Chinese Film Group, I think is it's all it's called, um, put $135 million to make an English language epic about China with fantasy elements. And their whole idea is that this can be homegrown Chinese working for a worldwide audience. Which is very much how things like the Fast and Furious movies work. They're homegrown American that work everywhere. And that's kind of the idea they're going with with this, right? Well, they get Matt Damon to get a Hollywood thing because you put a dude's face on the poster and it sells in China. So the Chinese have reverse engineered a Hollywood blockbuster out of this. And it worked because it's the monster business in China. It's doing pretty good here. Nothing huge or crazy, but that's not the point. And yet... It's this big, awesome, fun, low fantasy epic. Like, there's no magic, no nothing like that. Like, it's I'm not going to tell you how it happens, but it's all explained away. But there's no fa there's no fantasy in it. It, it kind of it, it all it makes sense. Um, no sci-fi either, just to get that out. Um, I loved it. It is it is a movie you need to see on the big screen or a big screen. Like it, we saw it in the AVX theater, the fancy theater here, and it's just simply because this is a visual. Thing. It is spectacle. Um, the action scenes are incredibly well done. 
the visuals of all the armor and the colors and just, oh, it's awesome. I can't recommend it enough. So I'm, again, buying the Blu-ray. Let me go back there. I can recommend it enough. It's not for everyone. It is cliche. It is corny and cheesy, but it's supposed to be. So if you're okay with that, there you go. If I tell you that there is a scene in the opening where women in blue armor go out to an end with rings around them and ropes and spears are thrown at them and they catch them, they dive off and they stab monsters and they get pulled back up and get another spear and keep doing that. If you're sold by that, you're in the right place. So that's that. I'll leave it like that. It, it is a fantastic, fun movie. Um, that's it. I'll talk about other ones here. I got one more to go and it's a big one. So I'll leave that there. It is the fifth anniversary, guiltypittercinema.com. Cyclops Scott here on YouTube and the fifth anniversary teaser is up. Stuff is coming with that. You'll see that one coming shortly, but I'll leave it at that. Go watch the other ones. I'm putting up five of these all at the same time just to get them up there, but uh, stay tuned. There's much more to come.